Hey guys, this is Kate, and I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I have a bunch of new stamps to show you, and they're from various places. I'll try to link everything below, and if you have any questions, then just um, leave a comment below or send me a message, and I'm going to kind of go through these by, like, season, so I have a bunch of, like, everyday stamps, and then some fall, and then a lot of holiday, so I'm going to start with the everyday stamps. And the first set is from Mama Elephant. I, I might have already shown this one, I can't remember. I just kind of grouped them all together. This one is called Cali Letters. It is so cute. It makes these scripty, um, like writing. And it has some really cool features. Like it has a double S, a double T, and then it has an R. So if you're starting the, the word with the R, it has the loop. And then it has a plain R if you're um, if it's in the middle of the word and then it has a couple of different variations on some of the letters like the J's one is you know for the beginning and then one is for in the middle etc etc so I have a couple of um, things I've I made with these I have some little like Thanksgiving place these are like gonna be place cards at our table and I used the um, the stamps to do the name so you can kind of see there's the R and it takes a little bit of practice I did um, put draw a line like a, with pencil to to use to help guide myself on these but they're really easy and they're so much fun and, and if you're all interested in to see how I made these little place card things you know what I used for the leaves and everything just let me know below and I'll be happy to do a video on them they're super easy and so much fun so I have all of our place cards for the people that I know for sure are coming so this was real. This is a really, really fun set. I love it. I love the font that you end up with when you combine everything. And again, it's from Mama Elephant, and it's called Cali Letters. And then, let's see. I'll just do all the Mama Elephant at one time. This one is an older stamp set, and it is called Mini Messages. And it's super cute. It has all these little tiny messages that you can use for all different things. I love to make little 3x3 three three cards. And I also have a set of dies from Top Dog Dies when I was on their design team that I think will match perfectly with these sentiments. I believe that Mama Elephant does have... A set of dies that go with this but I don't have those and it has like a two from it has all different holidays too like happy birthday happy holidays Merry Christmas um, let's see a, you know for a baby Mother's Day Father's Day just all kinds of things and it also has some little florals as well happy 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 it's just super cute and I think really versatile and then this one is called just a note and it has this really pretty large scripty just a note and then what I really like are all of these like subtitles I guess is if you scrapbook then you'll understand what that means I don't, I don't know if they use the same term in card making but um just kind of to put on the inside or underneath just a note and then it also has these kind of kind of looks like wheat I'm not really sure and then a little butterfly so that's really cute and that's um elephant just a note this one is from Simon Says Stamp and it is called big scripty greetings and I just really love the font and I don't have many birthday sentiments and I really like this big large scripty happy birthday this is from hero arts and Kelly Perky and it's called I think it's called Kelly's Chicago yeah and there's a whole series of these of all different towns and they have some woodblock stamps and some um, clear stamps and they're just really cute. I my brother lives in Chicago and we live really close to Chicago so I thought this would be really fun to use in like project life and um, scrapbooking layouts and different things like that. Got that and then um, this is a set from Concord and Ninth and it's very similar to the Mama Elephant set I showed you and I'll show you a comparison except this one is called Perfectly Penned and it's made specifically for like addressing envelopes and kind of correspondence it says like long live snail mail and it gives you some lines a two from special delivery all those types of things it has basically three different fonts on one stamp set it has the uppercase scripty letters the lowercase and then a block set of letters and also the um tell me up numbers and again, it has some things like the double T's and, and some things like the different R's, stuff like that. So you can see in comparison the size difference 
to these two and I've played with this one a little bit but it was on an envelope so I'm hesitant to to show that um yeah I will I can do a video if you're interested I think I actually just saw a video today of that somebody posted I can't remember who it was oh what's her name um if I could think of it and find it I'll put a link down below but if you want to see me like actually using these I'd be happy to show you again um I'd, I welcome any video idea right now. I'm kind of in a creative slump. So any ideas you have for videos, let me know. Um, let me just do a couple of non-stamp things but relate to stamping. These are some acetate sheets from Hero Arts. There are 20 sheets and they're five by six and they're for shaker cards. And I've been making shaker cards for a long time and I've been using just stuff that I had around like packaging and other things like that, but I've never actually had any acetate that's intended for card making, so I was really happy to see these. I think these are a newer product. They're very inexpensive. I think it's like $5 for a whole set of 20 sheets, and they're 5 by 6 and when I make a shaker card, I, don't, I never use a whole sheet. I'll just use like a circle or a square, so these will last a long time. I also have um, three of the Nuvo Crystal Drops. I, I have had this one for a long time, so you might have already seen this in a video. But more recently, I have the um, Ruby Slippers. It's a glitter one, and the Autumn Red, which is a red. This one I got to kind of substitute for my Christmas Red Stickles, which I love, and I'm on the very last leg of like my third bottle. But unfortunately, I'm not sure that it's going to be a replacement. Also, this red is not exactly the red that I thought it would be. I'll show you. I did um, test them out on, this is just a like Tim Holtz craft map that I cut up. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to show like true to color on camera, but the red is very, very dark. Maybe you can see in comparison to my shirt. It's like super, super dark red, um, which I like, but not necessarily what I was looking for. And the um, glitter are very nice, but they're very transparent. So I'm not sure. I love the like fleshy pink tone though. So back to the stamps. This is from Neat and Tangled. It's called Be Full. I really love this set. It's a smaller set. I have a lot of smaller sets also. Um, what I love about this is that the Let Our Lives Be Full of Both Thanks and Giving is all one stamp. And then these two little flourishes on the sides are separate. And then this pumpkin on the bottom is separate. So you can do, you can just use this and just use these or, you know, any combination of things that suit your project. I have a, a couple of these planner stamps from Clearly Kelly um, by Kelly Perky. I, I don't stamp, I mean, I don't, I don't like, I don't want to call myself like a planner decorator. I do stamp in my planner, but that's just because I love stamping. Um, not necessarily because I love planning. I have the Get to Work planner that I'll put a link to below. It's a great planner. I love it. It's very. It has no color in it. It's just black and white. Um, I'll show it to you real quickly. And I love that it gives you the option of being able to do whatever you want with it because it's just black and white. So I'm just going to flip to a page. This is what it looks like. It's very simple. Like I said, it's very plain. There's really, it's not like probably if you're a planner, you're thinking, oh, that's not what I'm looking for but I love it and I tend to stamp mostly in these little bullet points up here and then on the side in these check boxes and I really like these clearly Kelly stamp sets and this one is for what did I say it was called fall Kelly's fall planner it's just really fun because it has all kinds of things that pertain to fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving it has like menu planning and family arrives grocery shop um bring treats, buy candy, party, parade day, carve pumpkins. It's just, it's just fun. I thought that was really cute. And then on to the Christmas things. I also have the Kelly's Winter Planner set, which is the winter version. So this one I really like because it has like, it has church service. It has all different, it has Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas day, Christmas Eve, holiday shopping, wrap gifts, Home for the holidays and also has some new years and then the light bulb and the tree and the ugly sweater party it's just really fun so it's they're nice size send cards for for your planner um this one i got last like last year after christmas so i didn't get to use it but i think it's still available it's called kelly's all decked out and i just i love this deer head with the 
ornaments and I would probably use that in card making but <clears throat> there's also some other ones that are good for planners so I just wanted to share that here's a couple of new Avriel had a really cool release this year for Christmas stamps but I have so many Christmas stamps that I just I really uh, didn't need any more this one is called pine cones I love this stamp I think it is gorgeous um, it says season's greetings on it and I just think it'd be really pretty like embossed in gold and like watercolor over or something along those lines. This is a smaller set as well as this one, which is called Christmas Packages. And there's dies that coordinate with these. I don't have the dies. I just was sent the um, stamps. So I love this scripty Merry Christmas and then from our family to yours. And this set of presents is would be really fun to color if you're new to coloring this is a great stamp because it's nice and large and there's no animals which i have the hardest time coloring um because you can make presents any colors you want they're not supposed to be a certain color um this is a stamp set and i from lawn fawn called home for the holidays it's one of the teeny tiny like two by three ones and it is just so cute i used to have i had a hero art stamp that was a car with a tree on it, and I made an awesome car that I loved. I might have a video of that. I think I do. A really old video. Or it might have been one of the ones that got deleted. But um, anyhow, I loved that stamp, and I got rid of most of my wood block stamps. So I really love this, and it has the coordinating dies. So how fun is that? Um, this is another small lawn font. It's the unicorn one. I might have Some of these, I'm sorry if I've already shown these, and I'm being repetitive. I apologize. This one's called the Winter Unicorn, and it says, all I want for Christmas is you and a unicorn, and it has a coordinating die. So I've already taken that out of the package and everything. This is a stamp company that's new to me called Sunny Studio. Um, I look forward to working with this stamp set and some of their other, some other great ones. I believe that there is a set of dies that coordinate with this. I could be wrong. I've played with it a little bit, but I did not do it correctly. I used, I thought that this was part of the bell, but it's not. So this is an ornament. So these are, um, I'm sorry, let me back up. These are like layer stamps. So you have the base layer, and then I guess this is like a highlight area, and then the top of the ornament, and then some things to hang it from. I'm going to have to play around with this. I love that it has the little ornament hook down here, and then this really pretty um, like pine sprig. And then these are the layers for the bell, which makes like a totally photorealistic bell and I like I said and then also a bow you can see I've played with it some because it's already stained but not enough to be able to show you what's what because you, clearly I have no idea because I was doing it all wrong so when I have some more time I will play with this and um, if you're interested I can show that so I have a few sets from the new mama elephant um, release they had a awesome 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 holiday release and then I have some older ones that I'm super excited about. So this one is called Oh Tiny Tree. This was probably my favorite in the whole release because it is so adorable. It's like a little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. What's awesome about this is that it has these guides. You can see like there's an A and then A there and then like a plus sign and a plus sign and a plus sign or an X. So it guides you of where to stamp over so you can get it perfect. So you can leave the tree just naked as we say in the south um like that or you can put the pine needles on it and it'll show you exactly how to do it or you can put the string on it and then it has lights that you can um attach to the string it even has a little like outlet plug and then it has some extra little sprigs sentiment follow la and then some little stockings presents and then all these different ornaments i don't know if there's dies for this i'm not sure i don't think that there are but this stuff would be pretty easy to fussy cut if you wanted to I don't know about the tree though that would be kind of hard but so that's called oh tiny tree and it is so so cute and then this one i don't normally go for like animals i was just talking about because they're really hard to color but i mean they're white right so i figured it wouldn't be too hard to color and i don't have any of these kind of stamps that have like mirror images of each other so for instance this little is sheep i guess or lamb this little lamb and this one are the mirror image of each other. So they're like opposites. You could do like one of those spinner cards where the image spins around. And then this one with the little yarn is just so adorable. There's just a stack of presents. There's just all kinds of little things. The little string. 
they're just really cute and these could also be used for winter and some of them could be used all year round like this one well I guess maybe just that one and that one because these have like a Santa hat on and these have ears and these have this one has a string of lights around it but they're so cute and then there's a set of dies that coordinate and I don't know if you can see in the set of dies all these little teeny teeny tiny dies cut all these little teeny tiny <laughs> things so I think it even cuts this stack of presents that is pretty awesome and you could totally use all of those little add-ons with the dies with a ton of other stamp sets. So I think that's pretty cool. And hopefully I'll have time to do something with it. Um, this one I believe is older. It's called Jingle Greetings, but it just has some really great um, sentiments in it and I like the font. And then I guess these are all little ornaments maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I liked these for like inside card greetings. This is kind of the thought. This is a stamp set and die that I have been wanting for so long. I just never got around to getting it. I don't really know why because I feel like this tree could be used for so many cards with so many different stamp sets. That's the main reason. I love this tree. Um, the only other tree I have is in a old, very old lawn fawn set and I don't have the dies that coordinate with it and I've tried to fussy cut it several times. Didn't work out very well for me. This one is great because it has the Mr. and Mrs. Claus. It also has another set of hands for both of them so that you can have them holding one of these little things, you know, the cup of milk or the, the present or the hot cocoa or coffee, whatever, or the angel. So you can um, kind of layer it up or put these on dimensionals and have that. So that's really, really cute. And then the set of dies and all, again, the, this die set has all of these little things, including the little hands, um, so that you can you can use these with so many other things. I just think that's so fun. <clears throat> it also has two different tops to the tree, and it cuts both of them so that you can have just a plain tree that you could use for anything, really, or you could have the star on the top of the tree, and again, it'll cut both tops. So that is really fun. So that is called Cozy Christmas. And then this one is called Festive Mice. Is this all the cutest thing ever? This is an older set too. I, I think this is a couple years old actually. Um, this says Seasons Gratings. How cute is that? And it um, it's just it's just so cute. It has the little string of lights and a little holly. It's just so, so cute. And thank you so much um, for who this came from. I really, really appreciate it. Both of these. It's very sweet. Um, but look, he's dreaming of cheese. It's not funny. And then it also has the coordinating dies. And again, you could use these to go with other stamp sets because it cuts the tree. It cuts the little stocking. Um, let's see. What is that? Oh, maybe this. Is that a cupcake? What is that? Is that a cupcake? I don't know. And then this maybe is the cheese. I'm not sure. I'll have to play around with it because clearly I don't know what the what it cuts. And then last but not least, also this came, um, these sets came from, all came from the same person. Um, the Cozy Christmas with the dyes, the Festive Mice with the dyes, and the Peace on Earth. Yeah. So thank you again. Um, and this one has, just has some really pretty big Merry and Bright, Peace on Earth, and then a bunch of smaller little things. I don't know if there's a die set that coordinates with this, but I probably to be totally honest, would only use the large sentiments anyhow. Maybe these little diamonds, but those would be easy to cut out. So just really cute. And I guess you can use, that looks like a kite. Oh no, that's the backing of the, so you could stamp, there's the two backings for these like diamond shapes. You could stamp these, you know, maybe like in white or something and then stamp um, the other images over them. And then it has like a little um, string, I guess, and then a bow. Maybe that's for the birds to hold I'm not really sure I haven't played with it and I haven't looked at looked it up online to see what other people have done with it so I can't tell you but that is the huge ton of stamps that I have acquired <laughs> since well probably you know since we moved yeah so it's been I mean it's been a while it's this hasn't happened overnight um it's been a good few months so I just wanted to share them with you. Some of them are like brand new from the brand new release and some of them are older. But again, I will try to link everything I can below if you're interested in it. And if you wanna see any specific thing used in a card or project, then let me know. I'll be happy to do that. And 
thanks so much for watching guys i am hoping to have a lot of projects coming up here soon um i'm just getting settled and if you, if i have been doing things so if you didn't know i've been teaching classes over at big picture classes and i will have links to those below too i have two classes live um that I think you guys will really enjoy, but it's time now for me to focus on my channel and getting things back going here. So again, any ideas that you have for videos, I would greatly appreciate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really missed everybody and leave me a comment below so we can chat. Thanks guys. I'll see you all real soon. Bye.